Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Burick, and this is going to be a video on the Minnesota Wild doing a very smart thing, which was extending Jordan Greenway a couple weeks ago. Been busy with Olympic videos and covering the ECHL and AHL as well as being color commentator for one game in the ECHL. But uh, his value, according to Cat Friendly, is actually at nine million bucks. So they're only paying him three million bucks, and I would think Cat Friendly values Jordan Greenway. <laughs> At that value, because the dude six six obviously has become a very solid strider at picking up, uh, picking up um, gains on the ice and 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 actually being able to move quicker than it actually looks like he is at six six two twenty five. Uh, he definitely picks up space on the ice pretty good, and then he's going to get a raise. His cap hit uh, this year was two one. So he's going to get a raise for the next few years to only three million. Um, when at first, honestly, when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is the Wild being smart. They're paying him uh, a little bit above where maybe he would have been. Um, maybe he would have stayed at 2-5 in most people's eyes, and then they're paying him for what he's going to continue to develop into. And then when I really stepped back and looked at it, I was like, actually, they're probably paying him a very inexpensive, very affordable contract that's going to become a steal. A steal, and is already kind of a minor steal, because Greenway can be good on both ends of the special teams. He hits really well. He blocks shots really well. He completely disrupts not just passing lanes, but skating lanes as he bodies you up and gets you off the puck. So he's obviously a very effective player that's going to continue to get better on both ends of the puck. And already um, in this individual season, uh, he has shown good improvement. He's a plus 17, four goals, 10 assists for 14 points. He's already a very good uh, top nine contributor that you can Swiss Army between your second and third line and can play him on both special teams where obviously the Wild don't always do that, <clears throat> especially on the power play all the time because they have other catch they can put on the power play. But if he was on, say, a team like the Philadelphia Flyers, he's not going to get traded. I'm just saying like a team that had more ability to let him play there, I think he will, you would see him actually have more points because he wouldn't be held back by just how good the overall roster is by having guys that can play on the power play in front of him. Jordan Greenway is just going to continue to get better. He's a huge body, one of the most fun guys to watch in the game because he doesn't only have the ability to score, or the ability to hit, or the ability to block shots, but he also has one of the best fighting abilities in the game. So he's going to stick up for his teammate. They have Marcus Foligno on that team as well that obviously stick up for his teammate. So you have a team full of great skill with the Kaprizovs of the world, the Fialas of the world, the Dumbas of the world, um, and then you got team them full of great play drivers and just bulldozers like the Jordan Greenways of the world in the Minnesota Wild. He's a perfect guy to keep around, especially for three million bucks, because that's a good affordable contract. Because my good buddy and I were talking about this on PlayStation last night. They're going to be in kind of cap hell because of their buyouts the next couple of years. So being able to get Jordan Greenway for three more years for three million, that's going to be a perfect steal as he continues to develop and all the rest of the young guys, Beckman and etc. Rossi as he um, steadily stays in the lineup, continue to come up and become key assets to the team, assuming all of them end up staying there, the Addisons of the world, the Lamboses, uh, become key parts of the team. They still got a lot of guys, in other words, coming up the pipe. Now they have Jordan Greenway locked in. He's a perfect leader for a team, a perfect assistant captain, um, a guy that just plays great on both ends of the puck and has gotten better consistently each year, has become a better skater consistently each year as well, and is going to continue to become a better net from presence. He's still only 24 years of age. He's just entering the first year of what I usually consider your prime age. Starts at 24 for some, but even starts later for others, and then depending who you are, runs through your age 30 or even more season if you're guys like obviously Sid or Alexander Ovechkin, who's 37 now and still doesn't seem like he's out of his prime or 36, whatever OV is. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to Jordan Greenway smartly getting signed by the Wild because the other thing he did, obviously, last year's playoffs, play well three points in seven games and provided um, very nice hits, very nice block shots. He was pretty exciting to watch even in the playoffs as well. So great signing, great value. I think that's a perfect signing for the Minnesota Wild because they are going to be in cap hell in the future. So getting guys for around $3 million for the future is the perfect a recipe for success for your team and finding the guys like Ryan Hartman's of the world that they were able to find and develop and really turn into a full all around guy this year like they have in a center especially. Well that's really gonna help them as well. So everybody have a great safe and pleasant day. Please can subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget. Keep the channel growing to two hundred by the end of February. Peace out everyone.